And welcome back to Channel 42, where we talk about life, the universe, and a little bit of everything. This is going to be another Factorio Noob Tube video, and we're talking this time about belts. So, um, talked a little bit about the belts in the previous video and about how we need to fill them up both lanes. Um, notice, of course, that this inserter, this drill, is, uh, is only filling one side. Same with this one. This one's filling the other side, so we get a full belt. Now, what do inserters do? Um, they are very predictable for a reason, because we have to know what they're doing. If we put some ore in a box, you'll notice that each of these places it on the right side. Now, this is another reason to have Alt pressed, so that we know... Um, actually, I guess Alt just shows this, but uh, if you hover over, you'll see which direction those arrows are facing, of course, the uh, inserters. And they always place on the right side of where they're pointing, all the way around. Um, it's also important to note that when you've got a belt perpendicular like this, it always places on the far side of the belt. Whatever is in the box, whatever is being placed, is going to go to the far side of the belt. To get both sides full, we would just create a little setup like this and place that there. And now you'll see it's filling up the other side, the far side, away from the inserter. The next step I'd like to talk about in terms of belts and what they do is, um, is the underground belt. And of course, that's one of your early pieces, and it allows you to, to span across different lanes. So we could have four lanes going in between one underground belt. Now, when you place them, you'll notice that they are directional. So this is, you always place the entrance first, entrance there, and you can go up to four, and it'll tell you where that yellow bar is that's five, that's four, where it's going to come out. If you somehow place it the wrong way, entrance there, and you actually wanted it to come in this way, it's easy enough to fix. You don't have to pull it up. Hover over, press R for rotate, and it'll just flip it back and forth whichever direction you desire. You'll notice on this one, it's kind of subtle, but you can see how the belt is not the right way. When you hover over, you confirm it's not the right way, press R, and all of a sudden, R or, uh, coal will start flowing through the underground belt into the other side. This again is um, another way you can see this goes in, but this one also, oh, and this one comes out. Um, there we go. And it's supposed to work, but that's where we are at five. If we place one there, then it'll start working. We drop some ore in there, some coal, and it's producing it quite nicely. So, that's the idea. Oh, no, it's not. We've got a reversed uh, inserter. That's another quick note there. Most things, once you place them, are not permanent. You can rotate them just by holding, uh, hovering over them and pressing the letter R. Hovering over something and pressing Q duplicates whatever it is. Hovering over the box, Q duplicates the box. Hovering over the belt, Q duplicates the belt. And same with one of the underground inserters. It is important to note, and we'll get into this in, in a later video where weaving starts happening, that you can actually create and a, a total belt system within a belt system. So red is going to drop all, inform, all, all ore through this one and come out here, while yellow will drop into this one and come out here. You can even overlap them. So yellow goes in there and will come out here. Red would go in here, come out here, in there again, and come out there. So you can do multiple uh, lanes and multiple products all in the same line with belt weaving. But again, get into a little bit more of that detail right there. You can see the red extends it two more. So we've got a full one, two, three, four, five, six lanes that you can build there. Uh, with a red uh, red belt. And of course, blue extends it two more again. So that's the basics of underground, how to rotate them, how to use the Q button to um, duplicate. Often it's called the pipette tool. And um, hope you enjoy the video. Let me know if you have other questions or if there's anything else I can answer. Um, look for me for more videos and, and I hope this is, uh, this is helpful. Thanks so much.